Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. I thought I would share a little spontaneous weekend trip that my family took. We actually left on Saturday morning, drove like five hours to go to Tempe, Arizona, where I went to do my PhD, and we explored and we did a bunch of fun things, and then we came back the next day, Sunday night. So let's go ahead and check out some of the highlights from our trip. So first off, I want to share this little hack. We connected a little wire from the headrest in our car, and we took my iPad and just kind of draped over the, the little cover and downloaded some videos on Netflix and had those playing on the iPad and let the kids enjoy like movies and stuff. So this was great because, you know, my car doesn't have like a TV or anything, and it was a great way to pass the time. Then one interesting thing is you can actually see like a hole in a rock as you're in entering into Arizona from like mile marker 35, 34, all the way up to 39. So if you are anywhere near there on I-10, make sure to check out that hole in the rock because it has been something that I always make sure to see whenever I'm driving on that freeway. Anyways, as soon as we got into Tempe, we headed straight to the Miner's Rock Shop. I actually didn't know this was here, but Juan looked it up. We went to a similar place when we went on vacation with my side of the family, and Aubrey just loved it. So we, you know, decided to come and check out all of the little rocks and minerals and gems that they had. And we let Aubrey pick out, you know, a handful of the cheaper ones that she could take home for souvenirs. Unfortunately, Jack did not sleep at all on the whole ride to Arizona, which I was really hoping he would so that he would be rested for the rest of the day. But that, you know, kind of meant that he was going to be a little bit more feisty and on edge. And so it was a little stressful for me in this rock shop because there were two cats there. He wanted to chase them. And then obviously he would be more cranky if we told him no, like don't touch this, don't do that. So that was a little stressful, but we managed to get through it and not break anything. Thank goodness. After the Miner's Rock Shop, we went straight to my like coffee stomping grounds. This was like a mile from my old apartment. We went to a place called Extreme Bean. Any of my friends who went with me there, it's still like as it, it's even better than before. It's like nicer and cleaner inside. But I got my toffee coffee frap, which was like my go-to drink. And it was delicious. Aubrey couldn't stop sipping my drink. So she obviously enjoyed it as well. And we just kind of relaxed outside. Juan ended up ordering some sandwiches from a place called Dilly's Deli, and he went and picked them up and then brought them back for us to enjoy at Extreme Bean. And one cool memory is that I actually like asked a handful of my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids while we were sitting on the little couch in this coffee shop. And that was just like a really fun memory for me. Like I can still see their faces of excitement. So anyways, this place holds a lot of memories for me and was definitely a place that I wanted to visit on our little trip. You can see this little flamingo that Aubrey has. We actually picked it up as a souvenir from a gas station on our way heading towards Tempe. But this is the inside of Extreme Bean. It actually is an old bank. So there's a little vault in the back right there where I would study a lot of the times or do homework. And like I said before, not much has changed. It's, it's just kind of gotten a little bit nicer on the inside. Mm -hmm. Bamba. It's a fake twig. Well, it's gone. <laughs> Bobby, where are we? Yeah. A train? Oh, you're going to have Mark so much fun. Two. One, two. Three. Ready? And go back, go back. <laughs> Papa. The choo-choo train, Papa. Oh, this is so fun. Is there a choo-choo train at our house? No. <laughs> 
Papa say choo choo. Yeah, choo choo. Aww, oh, you could sit in here on me, and you and we could just go on the web. Choo choo. So as you guys saw, we went on a little like tiny train that goes around an area in the mall. You know, some of the malls near us where we live like aren't as lively, but there were tons of people in the malls here, probably because it is warming up and, you know, the mall is a great place to go where it's air conditioned and, you know, there's just lots to do. The kids really seemed to like the little fake animals at the Rainforest Cafe. We didn't go there to eat, but like I said, we just kind of walked around the mall, picked up a few items, and then we went to hit up another place that was right near my apartment. We actually know the owner of this Italian ice place, and so getting some Italian ice was a must on this trip. I got the blue raspberry flavor. I got red raspberry when it was like a long time ago when I was in Arizona, but the blue raspberry was still just as delicious and tasted the same. So after we got this treat, we continued to drive around and explore my old stomping grounds, and we went first to go check out my old apartment. Mommy used to live in those buildings. Let me say, mmm, yummy. Okay. This one. Nice. So here is the apartment complex that I used to stay at. The kids obviously didn't really care where we were. They were just enjoying eating the Italian ice. But the apartment complex was still like very nice, nicely kept up. Driving around the complex actually reminded me of like all of the nights that I would walk around the perimeter for exercise with some of my friends just, you know, to get my thoughts in order. And this just brought back a lot of really nice memories of me staying here. So this was actually the building that I stayed in during my time in Arizona. I stayed on the second floor and it's the last building, but like on the left hand side. And then no one was actually in the parking spot that I used to park in. So Juan was like, for one last time, let's park here. So we just parked there and enjoyed the rest of the Italian ice. After visiting my old apartment, we stopped by Safeway. This was actually where I used to do a lot of my grocery shopping. We picked up some like fruit and snacks for the kids. We drove by a lot of my other like coffee favorites, Starbucks, obviously, Dutch Brothers. And then I noticed like this corner building was just brand new. It's amazing what they've done in just like five years because I actually graduated when I was pregnant with Aubrey. So it's been it's been a while and there have been so many new buildings that have been just popping up in that area. They look amazing and yet I still feel like the school is kind of how I remember it. So that bridge that we just drove under is new. I don't remember that being there when I went to school there just, you know, six years ago. But the second ASU bridge that we will drive under is one that was definitely there. People always take photos there. It's just a really pretty kind of sight to see. Then on the right, we're going to see the Newman Center, which is the Catholic church that I went to a lot of the times when I went to school there. It's actually where I met Juan's brother, and then I eventually met Juan, my husband. So this church has a special place in my heart as well. <laughs> Bobby, you fell asleep Bobby. with your finger on the button.
So as you can see, Aubrey had some reaction. If you look back when she was eating the Italian ice, you can kind of see like her eye was starting to bother her. And my guess is that we like picked a flower at one of our pit stops on our drive out and maybe that like she rubbed her eye and then maybe it just like really irritated it. I really don't know, but it freaked me out that her eye was so puffy. We were out of town. I didn't have anything because I was like, we're going to be home tomorrow. What's going to happen in a day? And her eye is just like super puffy. She had a lot of eye boogers. Lon ended up buying just some like allergy drops, which, you know, if you try to put anything in a kid's eye, they kind of freak out. So that was a fun experience. But luckily, you know, with just like a warm compress, things were under control. And the next day she looked a lot better than she did the night before. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling, Aubrey? Good. Tell me about what happened to you. Bubby, we had to unplug that phone. Why? Hi. Hello. Say, say bye. 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 No, no car show. So now it's Sunday morning. We checked out of our hotel. We attended Mass at Our Lady of Mount Carmel which was another Catholic church that I often attended when I went to ASU. A lot of the times I would go to daily mass in the morning and then I would go to school because it was just like half a mile away. After mass, we decided to go visit the coffee shop. That's what it's called. I discovered this place when I lived out there because I liked watching Cupcake Wars and I found out that like one of their winners was from Arizona. We're kind of near Tempe. And so one of my good friends, Morgan, and I went there to study one time. And of course, the baker in me wants to see the different flavors of cupcakes that they have to see if maybe I can replicate it or just kind of be inspired by them. I got an iced white mocha. Juan got his coffee. I forget exactly what he got. And then we just got like two breakfast or brunch dishes that we shared with the kids. After we ate our brunch, Juan did pick up some cupcakes for us to enjoy later on in the day and in the following days. And then I'm just showing you guys a couple more clips from around the coffee shop. After we were done eating, we I cleaned up and Juan brought the kids like on a little walk. And then I guess they stumbled upon this guy who had parrots. And Aubrey, obviously, as many of you guys know, is in love with birds. So it was such a blessing. Like what a cool thing just to have outside the coffee shop that we went to so Aubrey's over there with a phone she's like recording her own memories over there and then it was getting time to head home because we didn't want to get home Sunday night too late so one of the last places that we decided to stop was a relatively new store to the area called Eiji's now, Aegis is pretty popular and has been around a while, but it actually is more based in Tucson, Arizona, which is like two hours away. My family would go every summer to Tucson to visit family, and we would always get Aegis. So when I saw that there was one just like two miles away from the coffee shop, I knew we had to get some for the ride home. Brie, tell me about your very first Aegis experience. <laughs> what happened to your tongue? It's bright cherry red. Do you wish there was one near our house? Yeah. Only tradition in tunnels. <laughs>
doing, Bubs? Oh, he broke off part of the train. So something that I, you know, remember experiencing when I was out in Arizona and I thought it was such a good idea was their carpool lanes. So they have a carpool lane that is only like considered a carpool lane for a few hours in the morning and in the evening, Monday through Friday, which I think is a great idea because on the weekend, anyone can use that lane and it just makes it even easier for people to get where they're going when there isn't as much traffic and when using the carpool lane really wouldn't necessarily benefit you. So if anyone who has any influence in California of the carpool rules watches this video, which I really doubt it, but if if you are watching, take note of this. I think this is a really good idea and could probably really benefit a lot of Californians. So we did end up stopping at a gas station just before the border because that is the best place to fill up on gas because as soon as you drive into California, gas prices go up even more and you might as well just top off at the border. But while we were there at the gas station, we did pick up a postcard to go with our little family's collection. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a video like when I kind of started my channel and um, I will link it up above. It's just a really simple idea for how to remember your vacations without taking up a lot of space. But the drive home was pretty uneventful. I'm pretty sure Jack did take a nap finally on the way home. And aside from Aubrey's eye scare, which I really don't know really what happened with her, but aside from that, it was a really enjoyable trip for me. And I really attribute that to the fact that we went to all the places that I knew I already liked. Often when I go someplace new, there's like too many options on the menu that look like they may be good. And then I end up deciding on one and then wishing maybe I got a different thing. And here on this little vacation, it was like, oh, we're going to go here. I know what I'm going to get. Oh, we're going to go here. I know what I'm going to get. Because I lived there and it was just like it brought back a lot of good memories. I was able to enjoy food and drinks that I haven't had in a really long time. And overall, it was just like it was very enjoyable. Speaking of food, I did try one of the cherry cupcakes that we got from the coffee shop. And I'm pretty sure it had a cream cheese frosting, a vanilla cake base, maybe with a little bit of almond extract and then the cherries I'm guessing they're maraschino cherries but there might be like another one that's very similar that is used for baking so I'm excited to maybe try to replicate this cupcake because it was very delicious but that is the end of our little spontaneous trip to Arizona I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of pieced together vlog if you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you are stumbling upon my channel for the first time, I'd love for you guys to stick around and subscribe. I take care of all things mom on this channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.